What's going on guys, it's Adonis and I am back with Dragon Ball Super Episode 78 review. I know it's late, but let's get into it. So at the very beginning of the episode, the Grand Priest lays down the law, tells them the rules, and they freak out. And this is dope too, because Beerus is like, look, you gotta take responsibility. This is all your fault. Take responsibility. Now on top of that, the future Zeno is requesting kind of a um, exhibition match uh, to see exactly what these tournaments look like because for whatever reason, he's actually never seen one. So Zeno wants to put an exhibition match together between Universe 9 and Universe 7. Um, and this is really interesting because Goku now has to become team captain and recruit some fighters. First person he goes to, Vegeta, obviously. He's still on the, look dude, I got a baby coming. How about a no? But then we finally get Gohan, he's in the ring now. He's back at it and it was really cool because he wasn't gonna do it until Goku said, hey, by the way, we might get erased. And that was what kind of woke Gohan up, especially now that he has something to really, really fight for. And also too, I would love to know your guys' thoughts on Gohan coming back. Are you excited? Do you think he hasn't had enough training yet? I would love to know in the comment section down below. And the third fighter is Majin Buu. Now with this one, Hercule has to come along because he only listens to Hercule. So they actually get to fight in this kind of void space where nothing is affected, time, nothing and you can go full out all powers nothing which is great because we really kind of never get to see goku really go full out now some people will say what are you talking about he goes full all the time and it's like no because as a hero you can't go full out because you could destroy everything around you so i'm really curious to see how they utilize this space now with the heroes from Universe 7. I mean, if you have nothing to worry about as far as destruction goes, we may see new techniques. You may see, you know, some of these fighters do things we've never seen before. So I'm really excited. Now, some of the really funny parts actually happen during the ceremony. I mean, you have Goku being Goku, yelling out Zeno and being extremely rude. And all the other universes are saying, man, like Universe 7 is really, really rude. Um, and even Mr. Satan was like, look, dude, like, you can't do this. Like you cannot talk to gods like this. And this is the first time that he's actually ever seen any of them. And he already knows what you should or shouldn't do because you're an adult and that's what adults do. But it is pretty interesting to note that not all Supreme Kais are the same. And I say that because Universe 9, their Supreme Kai has a very evil tone to himself. So I wonder how that, how that works. Like we haven't really seen other universe of Supreme Kais besides Gowasu. So I'm really interested to see, are some of them on the more evil side? Do they have like, you know, some other motives going on? I'm really curious about it. Now, first up is Majin Buu and he's fighting one of the wolf fighters from Universe 9. I forget which one he's actually fighting. If you guys remember the name, let me know in the comments down below. But right off the bat, the wolf guy got in that ass. And a lot of it was because of Majin Buu just can take punishment. and. He's just not in fighting mode yet until the very end of the episode where you see him smile. So I'm really excited about seeing what he ends up doing with this fighter. Have we seen, you know, Universe's Nine fighter go all out already? Or is he still toying with Majin Buu as well? I'm really, really excited about this arc. Now with this too, this exhibition match could just be an exhibition and then there's months before the fight, or it could happen a couple weeks after this exhibition match that really hasn't been displayed yet as far as like how far you know from now it will take place. Um, so I'm really curious to see how much training goes on in between the time of this exhibition match being done and the actual tournament starting. But all in all, it's a great episode. Everything's moving now towards this new arc. We finally have what our team is gonna look like, at least from the beginning, as far as you know, Majin Buu, Gohan, and Goku. We already know who's coming, but I really wanna know how they're going to introduce them into this you know, universal destroying tournament. Um, and you know, are they gonna bring that up to them? Because right now Beerus is kind of keeping that stuff on the low. So I'm very, very interested to see how they handle it. But that's gonna do it for my recap, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on this episode, episode 78. I'd really like to know your guys' thoughts about it. If you guys like this recap, hit that thumbs up button, show your boy some love. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you're gonna wanna do that. Hit that APP logo in the corner to subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna check out my last video, link will be right here to the side. All right guys, until next time, see you later.